view of each beach there in Galveston. Beautiful day there, looks a little breezy on the beach. Well, you're tired of old family heirlooms, keeping those in storage, or maybe you just want to freshen up the look of your furniture with just, maybe you can do it with just paint. Did you know that? Just a piece, just a piece of paint. A little bit of paint can give you new life to your old pieces. Here to explain is owner of Legacy Home Staging and Furniture. We have Jennifer McDougal. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Okay, I love this. Let's kind of start first with going through, you know, I mean, paint. You think generally, okay, that's a way to change your walls. Right. Not necessarily putting it onto right. furniture, but it's a fantastic, easy way yes, to change it. Yes, it is. Um, in the past, you know, latex paints, they're not going to stick to your wood without having to do like a full sand, and that's where people really just bought new stuff. It was easier than having to sand and prime. Um, but with these paints, these milk paints and these chalk-like paints, you actually don't have to sand or prime. Um, so really? you can just paint straight on top of the furniture. So it's much faster and a much cheaper way to do it now. It takes so, out yes. a lot of the elbow yes. grease. Yes. To get quality pieces, you know, hard, solid wood pieces, these days, I mean, you're talking thousands of dollars, right. whereas you could just take what you already have for less than $100, redo the whole thing, and make it look completely different. Okay, so we're putting up some before and afters mm -hmm. um, here. Okay, so you left the top the same, and then you, you painted I, the base? I did. On that one, I actually did paint the top. I just painted it a dark brown um, to give it that wood look. Sometimes I will stain the top of it if the wood looks good and I'm able to, but um, a lot of times it's got cigarette burns or things like that, so I might go ahead and just paint the top to make it look better. How long did it take you to do something like this? Um, probably around 12 hours, you know, start to finish. To, okay, that's to, including the dry time. Right. And that's this one too. here took a little bit longer. Wow. There's some repairs um, that had to be done on that one. So some pieces go a little bit quicker than others, depending on the condition that they're in and, you know, if they've been sitting in storage units for a long I mean, time. that looks or, like something that you would go into a store and literally spend right, thousands right. of dollars. So for dollars. less than $100, you can just take your heirlooms that you might have, things that your parents maybe passed down, or maybe you have a piece in one room. You don't need it there anymore. You can redo it and move it to a different room. Here we have another before picture and then after. Yes. Wow. Yes. That went from like old grandma's house yes. to this is very modern right. and, and very nouveau now. Yeah, and you can even, once you've painted it and finished it, you can actually repaint it again later if you want to use it again in a different room. So you can just, because it's all a water-based paint, super easy to work with, you can keep redoing it as much as you want. Is it a special kind of paint that you use? I do, yes. I use, um, my preference is the General Finishes Milk Paint. Um, there are chalk style paints also. They're a little drier, harder to work with, but this is my personal favorite. It goes on really smooth. It's okay. really humid I'm going to try this out. So milk yes. paint. Yes. I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm normally left-handed, but I'm going to go right-handed. Now, is there a trick to to painting the furniture? No, just, just go for it? Right, just, just start painting. And it goes on really well. I like this paint because it covers very well, so I can get done in a couple of coats. Is that why you many. choose the chalk, the milk paint over the chalk yes. paint? Yes. So the milk paint is a little thicker, a little heavier? It's actually a little thin. It's a little smoother, easier to work with. But being so hot and humid here, the uh, thicker paints for me, it's just a personal preference, but you can use the chalk style too. I just, this is the one that I, I prefer to use if I can, just because it's a little, a little bit easier. <laughs> Jennifer, if you're doing this at quicker. home, do you pull out the drawers first or you do what I'm just do, doing, totally, going for it? Totally. Pull out the drawers. <laughs> Um, there's all kinds of stuff behind the drawers that uh, you, you won't want in there. So you want to give it a really good clean, especially if it's something you purchased that's not something you already owned. Um, clean it really well inside. I put dryer sheets inside to kind of freshen up that smell. What happens if, like, a piece just... Stinks. Yes, <laughs> most of them do. Um, they're old furniture, so for the most part, um, any you can get any of the smells out. Cat urine's the only smell that I would say I've not been able to get out of furniture. I've just tossed it. It's not been worth it. But I use shellac. Um, and shellac gets rid of all. Yeah, I would have never actually, thought that shellac gets rid of all that. Yes, it's a clear primer, but what it'll do is is trap that smell. So if you have whether it be uh, cigarette smoke or um, house fire smoke, that distinct smell, that yeah. musty grandma smell, mothballs. Um, that will actually block that odor for you. Um. So Jennifer, while I'm over here painting, let's kind of talk through sure. how did you go from just the paint and then like adding in the hardware and then the little antiquing that yeah, you did. So this is what the piece looked like originally. Um, but then I did this side where you'd be able to see what you could do. There's a lot of different options as far as once you get the paint on it, you can leave it. This would be just painting it the way it was. But of course that hardware is really old and dingy too. Right. So this is just simply spray paint. I like Krylon Rust-Oleum spray paints adhere really well to the metal. Do those spray paints outside? Yes, <laughs> I'm outside. Um, well, ventilated. 
insulated. You can, I mean, for a can of spray paint, a few dollars, it really makes a big difference on that hardware. Um, and then here, I went a little bit further and I added um, these Gilder's paste, which is just like a dry paint. You use a tiny bit, put it on your finger, and you can rub all these raised oh, areas. That is so cool. And make it look, so just from there to there, that little step makes a big difference. And it's just like, it's, it's just like a little thing of wax. Yeah, it's just a, um, just a clear, I'm sorry, just like a dry paint that you just rub yeah. on your finger and you can rub it on there. All right, Jennifer, I'm about done working on your pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on over here and look at some of these pieces that you've finished already. Just to show the, how the differences of oh, what furniture can, paint can do for furniture. Yes. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep, this one before was just white, so um, we just took it and made it gray, which is kind of boring. And um, again, we used the gilders to accent those raised edges. Anytime I have those little raised areas to work with, you can... And again, that was that wax stuff that you were using, yes. right? Yes. And then over here, I can tell you painted mm -hmm. the top yeah, of this. Yeah, so this one's got paint on the bottom, and then you see a heavier stress on this and this is using like a sander or a sanding block I have one of the um to break it down and get down to that wood if you have really pretty wood under it and you do want to expose some of it you don't want it to just be solid paint then you can distress it with sandpaper um, and give it that look and then up here we're looking at a couple different uh, layers I, of paint. I love that pop of pink that you got yes, on, on the other piece yes, of furniture. So Jennifer thank you. thank you so <laughs> much yeah course. yeah paint and recover that fabric yes. you've got a brand new chair thank you so much well, great course, tips you. and great little thank insights you. into changing up your furniture now if you missed any of these steps, check out our website for a link to Jennifer's blog. Uh, we'll have that for you there on Houston Life.